But I think we found uh, Gigi Graciet. Uh, she is uh, with the Sheriff's Department. There she is. They're running full-scale terrorism drill today, and uh, she has returned uh, to talk to us now. Gigi, good morning. What's going on? Good morning, Steve. Good morning, everyone. This is a story you're only going to see on Fox 11. We are working with the L.A. County Sheriff's Department on Operation Independence. Now, this is a major high-visibility drill. Very much want it this oh. way. Oh. They want the sheriff's department to be very, very visible. And we're going to pan over a little bit to the right. There's part of the sheriff's department. They won't give us an exact number on how many deputies or agents are being deployed. But behind them, we also have agents with Homeland Security. We also have TSA agents here at Union Station. Now, the entire idea here is to prepare for a terrorist attack. And it is also to give riders, people who use public transportation, a sense of security. You'll remember back in Boston, the Boston Marathon bombings. Well, those, were take, those took place on Patriot's Day. And the two brothers... Well, according to investigators, they actually had planned to hit New York City on July the 4th. So July 4th, one of those major holidays that law enforcement always focuses on, high alert, security being ramped up across the country, no exception here in Los Angeles. Now, they tell us there is no credible threat. A short while ago, we spoke to the L.A. County Sheriff's Department Chief of Homeland Security. Uh, we have a, a very high visibility uh, exercise going on. It'll be going on for a couple days. Uh, folks that ride the transit system will see uh, uh, more than the usual amount of deputies. Uh, we're practicing for a uh, very high visibility response uh, in, in, uh, that could be in response to a, a threat or an actual activity that takes place somewhere in the United States. So just like we do for wildfires, uh, we're, we're, uh, we're exercising uh, our response uh, to an event that could take place in the future. Now, the key words here are high visibility, but let me tell you, it's what you won't see that also counts. A lot of undercover agents in those crowds, there are going to be a lot of police officers, a lot of sheriff de deputies, a lot of Department of Homeland Security agents today. Reporting live from Union Station in downtown Los Angeles, I'm Gigi Graciette. We'll send it back to you. All right, Gigi, thank you very much. This morning, a show of force from local public transit officers, part training drill, part message to would-be troublemakers. CBS 2's Carl Finston this morning is live at Union Station in downtown L.A. with the details. Car. Well, many people here who've seen that show of force, as well as some of the more unusual resources like these behind us here, have come up to us asking us what's going on, and officials say that's part of their goal to get everyone thinking about the Southland's security. Explosive sniffing dogs at a huge visible and undercover force have converged on Union Station. But this is not an emergency response. It's an anti-terrorism drill. We've seen some complacency uh, amongst uh, even law enforcement and our community in general regarding uh, potential terrorist activity from abroad or even here home uh, from domestic terrorists. Sheriff Division Chief Ted Sexton says authorities started planning for this drill in L.A.'s mass transit system right after the Boston Marathon bombings, in part to exercise the security lessons learned. But the high visibility drill, dubbed Operation Independence, will continue through July 4th, a major holiday. Yesterday, federal authorities released a bulletin saying the country is on heightened alert. Anytime you have a holiday, it's something that you want to look at. You, you, uh, the Boston bombing took place uh, on Patriots Day. Uh, uh, the uh, Times Square uh, uh, incident took place on uh, May Day. Benghazi on 9 11. Uh, so, dates, you know, significant dates are always a concern to us. Chief Sexton says there are no credible threats to the LA area right now, and the drill's main purpose is for different agencies to work together, exercising resources. Uh, lights are going to go out in this tunnel, we can almost see like it's daytime. Officials also hope to remind the public of their anti terrorism role. Uh, if you see something that looks out of the ordinary, a behavior that looks out of the ordinary, please call your local law enforcement agency and report it. We all should uh, do our part, be a little bit more vigilant. And as already say, the other reason they chose the holiday for this drill is because there's fewer people traveling and using the metro system, so they say there will be less disruption. Reporting live here from Union Station, Cara Finstrom, CBS 2 News. All right, Cara, thank you.